Thanks, sir. A deal for Zal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing a review of the European markets for Tuesday trading session, the uh, 8th of August 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of stats, we have the uh, European markets basically trading sideways at present, even though we've had the weaker Chinese data out overnight, imports certainly dropping quite sharply, therefore obviously hurting European exports to China. Uh, obviously that's including US, UK and EU, and therefore it's risk negative. In terms of the uh, German data as well and the French data both coming in negative, uh, imports, exports dropping, and therefore obviously is considered to be risk negative. So the stronger euro is certainly hurting and certainly biting. In terms of Asia, you had the Nikkei down, uh, the Hang Seng and Shanghai just about trading sideways. Okay, so in terms of the uh, Asia markets, uh, the uh, the, uh, the actual Nikkei was down, whilst the uh, Shanghai Hang Seng both trading sideways. Okay, so um, that's the status quo. Weaker Chinese data, weaker German data and French data, and therefore that's certainly considered risk negative in terms of highlighting weaker global growth. Okay, so uh, I'm certainly looking for a risk aversion trade or a risk off session uh, going into the US today and in Europe as well. FTSE 100 certainly is being helped by the uh, dividend that's uh, due. I think it's around 40 odd points over Wednesday and Thursday. Okay, so let's look at the actual technical picture now. German DAX at present. The daily chart we already know it's consolidating after that uh, bullish engulfing candle on Friday's uh, jobs data. Obviously, it's sending the euro lower. Now, the reason why the uh, the actual uh, German DAX rallied was due to a weaker euro. Now, the euro at present now has actually recaptured 1.18. I'll bring up the euro USD. The weaker German data has failed to deter the uh, the actual. Uh, has failed to deter the actual. Uh, uh, shall we say? Um, Stronger euros failed to turn the uh, the German DAX from obviously falling. Okay, so again looking at uh, resistance here, 50 to 61 percent. The euro hitting a pivot lower, 1.1730, and now we've certainly retraced almost 100 pips. Okay, retraced to over 100 pips, so that's pretty impressive. Okay, keep an eye on that. Okay, again, it certainly gives you an insight into the ECB's thought process or potential front running of the ECB's thought process, i.e. tapering. Given the fact that yesterday's German industrial data was weak and today's German trade data is weak on export and imports, it'll be interesting to see if the ECB can maintain that hawkish potential view. Either way, that's the status quo, okay? Especially with the stronger NFP data as well, one would have expected the euro to come into pressure, or euro dollar should come into pressure, and that hasn't been the case. Now, we've had Mr. Kashkari and Mr. Bullard yesterday certainly slanting towards the dovey side, okay, uh, indicating that... Uh, the Fed certainly has to go ahead with tapering, but not raise rates. So, again, one can interpret that multiple ways. Okay, so that's where we stand. Euro USD back above 1.18, and therefore that's a negative for European equity. So, again, looking for risk aversion. 10 minute chart at the moment certainly has popped higher, certainly has bounced. Okay, but how long will that bounce last? That's the question. Can we retest that 1.1? It was a 1, 2, 3, 20 zone again. I certainly don't think so on the back of that weaker data. In terms of the French CAC, same scenario here as well. Okay, just trading sideways. From my perspective, 60-minute chart indicates to me that we want to go lower, potentially go back down to 5150, potentially go down to 5175. So, again, those uh, targets certainly are on the uh, horizon. In terms of the euro stocks, let's just quickly bring that up for you as well. Uh, euro stocks, certainly another index I'm expecting to move lower. The pivot low here is 3496, and then obviously you have 200 MA potential from previous resistance equals support below. So certainly looking for further weakness on the back of a stronger euro and weaker data in China and Germany. The FTSE 100, like I said before, certainly is being held higher with the FTSE dividend in play. Okay, certainly seems like people are buying for that. Again, your next resistance zone is seen at 3, 7545, 7555, and then you have resistance at 7580. Uh, maybe that's a zone that I'll look to short but for now. I did attempt to short thinking the Chinese data would hurt the FTSE and that hasn't been the case. We've obviously had a bit, bit low at 7520 and then we've cons uh, consequently bounced. So FTSE itself certainly ha is uh, remaining stellar and certainly is holding in there. Uh, Euro GBP certainly seems to be helping the FTSE as well to a large extent with Euro GBP moving higher, uh, sterling moving lower. Okay, And again, a weaker sterling certainly helping the FTSE from that perspective as well. So it's interesting. Okay, Certainly keep an eye on that. Okay, so that's where we stand, really, from my perspective. Uh, again, it's um, OPEC meeting as well, uh, the actual outcome of the OPEC meeting as well today. Let's just quickly bring up oil as well. Okay, oil certainly trading bearish from my perspective, just 
trading sideways. You can see that we're certainly holding resistance, which is here and here. Okay, so these are the two resistance zones. It certainly is holding that. Certainly not breaking out, and therefore one would presume that to be negative, uh, especially given the fact that uh, weaker Chinese data is exerting pressure on the on commodities on the downside. Okay, I think that's a good summation, really, of uh, of European uh, indices. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs and take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye.